On Mount Arafat in Saudi Arabia, these prayers mark a high point in this year's Hajj, which for a second year running has been restricted due to the coronavirus. My hair is raised and my whole body is shivering. Glory to God. You really feel that this is a great place. This year, the kingdom has allowed only 60,000 fully vaccinated residents to take part, with participants chosen through a lottery. I am one of only 60,000 pilgrims doing the Hajj, in comparison to the number of people who performed the Hajj with the Prophet, who were more than this. They were around 100,000. I feel like I am part of a privileged group that was able to reach this place. I feel tranquility, mercy and happiness, a silent kind of happiness, made up of light. The Hajj is usually one of the world's largest annual religious gatherings, with 2.5 million people taking part in 2019. It's one of the five pillars of Islam and must be undertaken by all Muslims with the means at least once in their lives. It consists of a series of religious rites formally starting on Sunday and completed over five days. Last year's Hajj went ahead on the smallest scale in modern history. This year it's slightly larger, but Saudi Arabia is hoping to repeat 2020's success and record no transmission of the virus. The Hajj ministry says it's working on the highest levels of health precautions with multiple health facilities and pilgrims divided into groups of 20 to minimize any exposure. Thanks to God, we got the approval. Although we didn't expect to be accepted due to the limited numbers, and as you can see, the Saudi government is doing its best. Everything is well organized. Barring overseas pilgrims has caused deep disappointment among Muslims worldwide, who typically save for years to take part. But today, for the worshippers in attendance, it's an emotional experience as they pray and recite the Quran on the Mount of Mercy. Floyd Cush, TRT World.